All right, I'm gonna go just kind of freestyle today. I know I usually do, but today is a little bit different. My medicine literally just kicked in about five minutes ago. I'm feeling kind of frisky and fresh. Thought I'd just get down here and do my video. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? It's this guy, Jeremy McDonald. Let me hear you say it. One of your very favorite. One of your very favorite people with Parkinson's, of course, it's Jeremy, also known as J Mac. Jeremy Mac. Let's do this thing. All right, if you'd like to get a hold of me, all my contact information is below. My email address, my Instagram. I usually put my Facebook in there. Sometimes I forget. Facebook, I don't use as much as Instagram, but I'm still on there. All right, let's see. I got a frog in my throat. All right, well, let me just let you know, it's it's been very beautiful in St. Louis the last couple days. You can hear the cicadas. It's starting to get a little, little warm right now, but it's incredibly beautiful out here. And I just, I was inspired because I know my last, I guess last week's video was kind of, I was talking about how the stress I had and the dyskinesia. Well, let me just say my son went back to school. Yes, yes, yes. I'm happy about it. I love the little dude, but he needs he needs to go to school. He needs some structure, and that was what was lacking, and so that was where a lot of my stress was stress was coming from. My blood pressure is down. Um, not that I was like really bad, but it was it was I was you could tell when you look at my blood pressure, I was stressed. I went to get some new eyeglasses, so I've got a new pair of blue shades coming. That was kind of fun. Uh, I usually don't like going to the doctor. Usually my blood pressure is high, but they took it. I know it's not a, like a doctor doctor, but it was pretty normal at the, at the doctor's office, which is unusual for me. Last two days, I've walked two miles, and then a third on a Wednesday, which would have been three days ago, me and the wife went for about an hour, a mile and a half walk. So I've been feeling better, been walking more. I was actually able to drive <clears throat> up to my local store up here, and I don't usually go shopping by, my, by myself. I need some milk and a new iPad charger and uh, some Pop-Tarts. I got ripped off on the Pop-Tarts, that's another story. Uh, you end up buying an eight dollar box of pop tarts that I thought were generic, and they <laughs> they were like gluten free and made of rice, and they were crap, crap, total crap. I guess that's my my Scottish. I don't know. I don't know. Just do making voices. So I've been feeling pretty good lately. Um, yeah, I was able to. Uh, I'm getting ready to go inside and cook some spaghetti. So I would say that since my son has been back, and he's only been back since Tuesday, I feel like my whole life has changed. I've been less dyskinetic and just more upbeat and more positive. And yeah, so it's been going good. But today's topic I want to talk about is uh, making peace or coming to peace with your Parkinson's. I've talked about this before. Oh, oh, motorcycle. God, I miss my motorcycle. I'm looking at you, Tom. But uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of learning to accept it. Um, it's like every day you gotta accept it all over again. Some days you get it up and it's like, it's easier to accept because your symptoms are less or you have less to do. I find the more I have to do, the more stressed I get, the more dyskinetic I get, and the more just overwhelmed I feel with this disease. But um, after almost 12 years, I guess I'm still doing pretty good, able to talk to you people. So it's just a matter of finding that place in your heart to accept your limits. I do have some positive news. I'll probably do another video about this because I don't have the tech set up right now to do it. But, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with my speaking voice. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm no, I'm no James Earl Jones, but I get the job done. So I'm also a singer, as you probably have seen some, from some of my other videos. And I had this idea, um, actually talking to one of my other friends with Parkinson's. And I sent him a, uh, a song I did with the isolated vocals, meaning I just took the vocals out of the song and just played the vocals. And I sent it to this friend. And I told her it was from 2002. I think she thought it was recent because she said, wow, how long have you had PD? And I said, almost 12 years. She goes, you can't tell this, this, this voice is so strong. So I thought, well, I didn't, I don't know if she got what I was talking about. So I thought, well, let me see if I can still do these vocals. So this, this was done in 2002. So I was 26, young spring chicken of a, of a strapping young lad, as they say. And uh, so I got my little recorder out and I pulled the song up and just sang along with it. And there was, there's some harmonies and double tracking means I'm singing double, which can be very tricky to keep your pitch the same and sync up your vocals good 
and I, I actually I listened to it and I went, holy hell, this is, you can't even really tell my voice is aged at all, not in this singing, now with the reverb and the, the, the effects I put on it. And so I sent it to some, some uh, like uh, my other Parkinson's friends, I sent the original and I sent the, the new version, which I literally did my first day without my son. So it tells you how energized I was. I was like, go get him. So, and people were like, holy crap, holy hell, holy cow, whatever they said. Mein Gott in Himmel. Mein Gott, my God in Heaven. There's a little German for you. Uh, Madre de Dios, Mother of God. There's some Spanish for you. So yeah, I, I, uh, I was very, very pumped that I could still do it even after 22 years. Let's, let's face it, a lot of singers can't sing what they did 20 years ago without Parkinson's. And I mean... I know my voice, I know it's changed, I know I can't do everything I used to do, but the, the strength was still there, and I could hold the pitch, which was so important. So it's, it's, it's a matter of, now, I'll be honest with you, if I couldn't do it, I probably would have been boned. But at the same time, you got to accept, we've got to come to a place of peace with this, with this disease we have, because we can fight it, which we should, but there's sometimes we got to know, pick your battle, so to speak. Like... Uh, I know sometimes I just simply cannot walk. I just simply cannot walk. So if I were to decide when I was really just kinetic, or just, sorry, just kinetic to walk around the block, it'd be a mistake because I hurt myself. But in the morning when I can walk better, I set goals for myself, reasonable goals. And I usually like to do two miles. Some days I can't do it. But the last two days, pretty much the last three days, I've walked two miles. And it feels good to accomplish that. So it's, it's a matter of accepting your limits. No, they'll be different for everybody. I mean, I've got friends that, that have been sick as long as I have that are much more functional, but they have different boundaries and different things they can and can't do. So find what you can do. Find what you can do that makes you happy, that you love, that, that warms your soul, that warms the cockles of your heart. <laughs> I said cockles. <laughs> I'm 12 years old inside. So yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what I wanted to just let you guys know. I mean, it's it's easy for, I guess, I guess some people might say, well, it's easy for you to say you've got this sexy mustache and this beautiful house and this beautiful wife and this beautiful son. And yes, I do, but I, I got to tell you, I mean, I'm not just blowing smoke up your behinds. I really feel like these are the best days of my life. And that sounds counterintuitive. And like 22-year-old Jeremy, if I would have told him, you know, in 26 years of Parkinson's or whatever, I was like, like, hell no. Hell to the no. I couldn't possibly be happy. Well, I am happy. And no small part of it is <laughs> my son going back to school. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope I cheered you up. I always like, even if it's a dark subject, I like to find a way to at least make you smile, if not outright laugh. I, that's the biggest compliment you can give me is that you laughed at something I did. So... There we go. Wish you guys were here. Like the Pink Floyd song says, Peace and love from the beautiful city of St. Louis. See you next time.